Hey guys, it's Panda Man, and today we're going to be building a hovercraft. And. Not you. It's sort of like a boat. I don't know if it's hovercraft or not, but it's going to be a boat with a propeller on the back because I don't know how to make them like underwater propulsion. So, I guess it's some kind of hybrid. I got some foam board. I'm gonna be putting duct tape over it to waterproof it for the hull and test it out to see if it floats out in our pool. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but I have some measured out pieces right here for the bottom piece and that is gonna curve up. So I guess let the montage begin. Okay, we're outside, got the complete boat, just the hull, so I'm going to try it empty first, so I'm floating it in the pool right here, all waterproof. Okay, that floats perfectly, right on top of the water, no trouble at all. So, now I'm going to try it with the electronics in. So let's just pile it in. This probably isn't a good idea if it, it's, if it sinks, but I'm just going to hold it to make sure it'll float. Okay, that floats flawlessly. So, we're not going to have any trouble with that. So, I'm going to bring this back inside and we're going to figure out a way to mount the propeller and all the electronics. So, I'll be there. Okay, so for the electronics, I've decided on using one sheet of foam that reaches across the hole like that somewhere around there and then I'll have a thing that goes up above it and then the motor will be mounted on that so it'll push backwards so I'll get to work on that now I'll be back with you when it's done just to save some time okay we got the completed thing right here propeller pusher propeller rudder right behind it for steering all the electronics are up here in the waterproof area. Just gotta plug my battery in, get my transmitter over there, and I guess we're ready to test it out in the pool. So, first let's unplug that. Okay, so. Put this on here and I'll meet you out there. What you doing, Zach? Testing out the boat. Let me shut this thing up. First test, will it float? Mm -hmm. No problem there. Okay, putting it in the water. Goes forward. I'm going to try and turn it. Take all that stuff out of the Bren, you want to be the cameraman? Sure. Do some sort of British soccer game commentary. And he wins the World Cup. Yeah. Watch it, man. Water's gonna flood over the. 
the front of it is too low. Well, I could shift the gravity when back. You go fast. It appears that there are minor difficulties. I could shift the center of gravity back. Mm -hmm. Maybe better. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to short that out with the water. Mm -mm. Okay. Trick two. It does seem to have a little bit of problem with turning right. Yes, yes, there are minor difficulties with turning right. It tries to turn left. Left is easy. Right's harder. Why is that, Mr. Zachary? Do you have an idea? Do you ha have any ideas on what that might be because of physics? Oh, yes, yes, I understand. Okay. More weight in the back. Now we can do a wheelies. Wait, Zach, you should have done the shark demonstration with that shark. I can see that it's turned that way. That's, 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 right. that's probably why, huh? That's her chlorine she shark right there. Right Got some yeah. sunglasses. Might be able to just mold that. Okay, now I have the rudder slightly tilted to the right to oh, counter that. Still not that great at it. Okay, let's try for top speed. Full throttle pretty good. I think I know what it might be. Yeah, I gotta change the thrust angle. But anyways, let's still have fun with it. Not getting any water leakages? Doesn't look like it. Minor water leakages. That's from before. That's the word of the day, minor. Okay, so I'm going to have to fix a few problems with this, and we'll be back with more of this the next day. Okay, you're about to see a montage of stuff with the, the boat that I've done, and before that, like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and see ya.
come to Papa.